Hey, fuck sticks. I want to talk about some gluttony today. Another one of the seven deadly sins, cardinal vices, whatever you want to call it. But when gluttony came about and it was a term that was known amongst the masses, when it was relegated to us peasants, we could really only be gluttonous about food. And that's really what it was towards, just people gorging themselves. Because again, peasants really didn't have the ability to accumulate anything other than food. So coming down on high from the Vatican or the moral authoritative figures, gluttony was viewed as eating too much, gorging yourself. But this times change. Who really were the gluttonous ones back in the day? The church and the crowns. All crowns. All leaders, authoritative figures, no matter where, when, how, they have always accumulated mass amounts of material possessions. So if we think about the past couple thousand years, that's all the church and crown have done has accumulated land, jewels, possessions, castles, livestock, anything. I remember the story of my mother-in-law telling me that her grandfather in Italy had to give two pigs to get his friggin' kids baptized. And this was in Italy. So the church didn't really give a fuck about whether you were poor or not. You were gonna have to pay no matter what, period. So gluttony has, you know, made its way into the American public or our mode here as Americans, especially the elite Americans, the ones who have money and like to spend it. They don't worry about helping out people who might be in need. No, with their money, they buy more cars, more jet skis, more toys to play with, uh, more houses, more lands. How many rings can I have? How many jewel? How much jewelry? Earrings, rings, necklaces. Uh, it's all about accumulation, and the great Americans will do it at behest of their fellow man. So they will step on their neighbor's throat to accumulate more shiz. So that's what America, not only is there pride in Americans, as I covered in a different video about how Cleveland was so prideful they won a championship and how ballers and cunt cavers are so proud about what they know. Well, how about gluttony? I can't speak for cunt cavers, but ballers, the people who think they live on this spinning ball, especially the people who pushed it, love to accumulate, love to get as much possessions as they can because that makes their status amongst others elevated. I am successful because look at all of the houses and possessions that I have. So gluttony is bullshit, all right? Peace.